Steve's rock. Who on earth is Steve? Think nothing of it. You may arrive at the Sheffield Beach Outlook parking area in Belito on a Saturday morning and find that everything is beautiful and tranquil. Steve's Rock is a pinnacle that forms a boundary between the rest of the rocky outpost and the sea. It is a favorite with the fishermen. Many have frequented it almost daily. If you are a local that grew up in the area or that have been here for many years, you also know that the sea needs to be respected and that you need to know what the sea is up to before you risk your life to go and stand on Steve's Rock for a long period. Know the tides as well. It won't take long before you are surrounded by water, as Steve's Rock will most of the time become an island with high tide, especially when it is spring tide. In my diary entry of the 20th of March 2015, I have showed what happened to holiday goers that took Steve's Rock for granted. On the rocks. On the 5th of June 2015, an off-coastal low pressure system was responsible for stormy winds over the ocean and eventually that turbulent water hit the coastline. It brought out the worst in the ocean and it played out a game with itself and Steve's Rock. I have recorded several inclement weather episodes with Steve's Rock but I have personally never experienced it as bad as this. I'm shaken, not stirred. Somebody got upset, man. The shell material that you see here was deposited when these parts were still underwater millions of years ago, but that is the topic for another discussion. It was obviously covered in vegetation at some stage, and the reason why it is exposed is that it was hit by the water during the 2007 storm. This happened in more than one place in Belito. Just for comparison, see how high up this point is, and even though the current storm is severe, it is not even approaching this point. Overpowering. I'm not going to say too much more except to let you watch this material as it unrolls and impacts the coastline, battering and foaming and boiling.
No more soap powder, please. Sweltering. Gloomy. I was not in Belito when a severe storm hit it in 2007. I didn't live here at the time, but I visited it a week after the storm. Nobody will ever forget that, and although most of the damage have been repaired and concealed, there are still some remnants where we can see what happened in that time. This is mostly the material for another video, and it would be interesting to watch it. Not a good day for fishing, man! Ho oh, and a bottle of rum.
kite sail to Australia if you wish. That is so over the top. Hi there everybody, I go to places and tell stories of what I've seen, I tell them here, take it on the rocks, Chris on the rocks, collaboration is the name of the game for any vlogger, many hours go into this, give us your inputs and subscribe please, subscriptions makes us possible, we fade without them, we bloom and impress with support, please like my videos and please share it to friends, soon to follow will be regular postings on ship salvaging, coming from my huge stock of video material that I've collected over two years. Many stories to tell. Also about the beauty of the world I live in. Meditations in nature, my style. Work together. This is going to be fun for all of us. Sometimes opinions as well. Views of the world. It will all be there. I want to show you my world as it is. And I hope it will be funny as well. In time I want to have a one-size-fits-it-all channel. 